Hey guys, welcome back to the Bald Shredder channel. So today I am unboxing my custom shop guitar from IYV. You might remember that not very long ago I uploaded a video about the fact that you can get completely custom guitars from IYV out of Vietnam and that I ordered a completely custom guitar and that I would show it to you guys as soon as it arrived. Well, it's here. I've already taken that out of the box and uh, I'm going to I'm going to take the uh, plastic wrap here. I'm going to take it off right on camera so you guys can see it at the same time that I'm seeing it. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it. I want to see this thing. Here we go. Taking off the rubber band. Uh, let's get this, you know, put it like this. All right. Ooh, there's the back of the headstock. Ooh. Okay. I'm already seeing something, guys, that I didn't ask for, I didn't request, but they did it, and it's actually kind of an upgrade. Hmm. Cool. Oh, man. It looks, yeah, it looks good. Oh, all right. Get this protective layer off, out of the way, check it out. So if you've been watching my channel any length of time, you can pretty much figure out like what I was probably going to order, which is a hardtail, two humbuckers, 24 frets, reverse headstock. This is like the ideal bald shredder guitar right here. Okay, let's take a look at the finish. Very nice. They they got the color. So what I did guys when when I ordered the guitar, I sent them a picture of another guitar that I found on the internet. I was just looking through, looking at different colors, different finishes, and I found one that looked pretty similar to this and I was like, "Well, that looks really cool. I would love to have have that finish." Sent them that picture and I said, "Can you do the colors and the finish like this with the flamed maple top?" And they're like, "Yes, absolutely. We can do it." And they did it. I wanted the matte finish, not the high gloss finish. That's what it has. Really nice hardtail bridge. I like that. Of course, I requested one volume and just a three-way uh, blade switch because that's all I need. 24 frets. Um, again, not no high gloss on the neck, just a matte finish, which they did. Cool. Now, the feature that I said um, they did that I didn't ask for, it's the locking tuners. I didn't even ask for locking tuners. They just put them on there, I guess, realizing that, like, okay, this guitar is probably going to stay in tune better with the locking tuners. And even with the hardtail bridge, that's a really cool feature. Um, you know, I have a, a Charvel DK24, and it's similar to this with the hardtail bridge like this, two humbuckers, 24 frets, whatever. And those models come standard with locking tuners, so pretty cool that they put the locking tuners on there. I'm really impressed by the color and the finish. I mean, it looks really professional. The way they blended it was, you know, from kind of like the yellowish, uh, I don't know, honey color in the, in the middle and then out to like the darker color, like orange and red and then almost to the brown. And it's got this really nice binding that goes all the way around the edge. Super nice. So is it what I ordered? Um, so far, yeah. I mean, without like plugging it in and trying it and I've got to go over the frets and I've got to look more carefully at the neck. There is one thing on the guitar, guys, that it's different than what I expected. And this is not the fault of the company because when I said I wanted this certain feature, this is my fault. See this, is, and don't make this mistake. So this, this is this is good for everybody to see, so that when you place a custom order, don't make this mistake. Don't assume that they're gonna do something a certain way. Don't just assume, because if you don't mention it to them, they might do it another way, and you just assumed that they would do it that way. So there's 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 one thing on the guitar where I assumed it would be a certain way but they did it a different way. It's very minor, not a big deal, doesn't affect the playability, and actually, it might even be an improvement on something. But I will talk about that in the next video when I give this thing like the full review and demo. So just a couple more things about it, guys. I mean, it looks fantastic. I'm already basically in love with this guitar. Um, it didn't take them long at all to make this guitar. I think they made it in less than three weeks, maybe around two weeks. And then they shipped it via FedEx and it got to me in less than a week. And that is 
amazing. You compare that to uh, the custom guitars that I ordered through AliExpress, those always took at least two months, and then the shipping would take anywhere from like maybe two weeks at the, the soonest, uh, even up to a month or longer. So this is just like a huge improvement over that stuff. So yeah guys, IYV, made in Vietnam. If you wanna order a custom guitar, and it's basically gonna cost you the same as like a, an affordable budget guitar that you could buy here, but instead of just getting the guitar off the shelf or off the rack or whatever, you get to say what color you want, what shape you want, what pickup configuration, everything the way you want it, and you're still paying what you would pay for like an affordable budget guitar. It's kind of mind blowing. Did a great job on the staining on the back, the, the cut right here, the connection with the neck and the body and the cutaway and like, oh man, I'm really impressed. Okay guys, so if you want to contact them and ask them about a custom order for you, here's the email again. I will also have it down in the description so you can get it there as well. Just send them an email, even if you're just considering it and thinking about it and you're like, I wonder if they could make this or I wonder how much it would cost if I asked them to do this. Just shoot them an email and ask, what can it hurt? And just a little more advice guys on the custom orders, include like as many pictures as you can as far as you know what, what body shape you want, the color, the finish. Be as specific as you can about everything as far as the neck, the measurements, how thick do you want the neck to be, how thick do you want the nut to be, just everything. The more information you give, the more specific you are, the better chance that they end up getting it exactly right. And like I said a couple of minutes ago, if you kinda don't mention something and you just assume that they're gonna do it that way, they might do it another way. So just be as specific as you can about every aspect of the guitar and then just see what they say. But yeah guys, as of now, I'm, I'm pretty blown away by this. It's, it's uh, it looks to be killer. So of course I will be doing a follow-up video on this, hopefully pretty soon, where I will do a complete review and demo. And yes, I will write and record an all new shred track for this guitar. It does demand it, yes, definitely. So keep your eyes peeled for that coming up very soon. All right guys, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.